Hi, this is David Greenwood of Your Life in the Now, where we help you to overcome the resistance of the old negative subconscious mind, that old programming, so that you can move forward to become your authentic self and live the life of joy, peace, and fulfillment you deserve and desire. Today, I want to talk about something that a, a client asked me the other day. And it was something simple and it made perfect sense. And he just asked me, when am I done? When is this going to be over? <laughs> We've been working quite a while on overcoming issues and he done so well. And he just looked at me and said, well, when am I done? And I looked at him and said, never. <laughs> We're never done. We're never going to be perfect. Now, of course, you can work as long as you want on your issues. We don't want you to be in a state where you're always working on issues. I just want you to have the tools so that when you need to, you can work on the issues but we're never done because we're very imperfect human beings. Remember those first 16 years of your life, you're a sponge, you're absorbing everything negative said about you, everything you experience, and you make mistakes all the time as a child, thinking things are your fault. Most of the time, it never was your fault, but it's what you believe. And when you believe things are your fault, you doubt yourself, and those core beliefs say that, I'm not good enough, I'm not strong enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not able to be myself, whatever it is, those negative core beliefs are in there. As you move through your life, you're going to find some of these old conditioned behaviors, the negativity get triggered. They go off like little time bombs. Let's say you're in a new relationship and your new partner says something and suddenly you just feel this wave of anger go over you. And you're going, what the hell was that? I don't feel angry. And yet there's something inside of you that just reacted that way. What you encountered was one of those time bombs. Your partner triggered something in your subconscious that was an old belief and behavior, and suddenly it filled your mind with old worries and fears. Just an example of all the number of things that can happen. I want you to have the tools to deal with it. And what you do is you go inside and you find why you were thinking and feeling that way. Find that part of you that has that issue and you work with that. And this leads us to another important idea is that life now becomes the very thing you need to work on. Life is not bringing you these issues. You are drawing them to you. And as you draw to a partner or an issue or some event and it triggers something, the last thing we want to do is ignore it or push it away or try to deny it. We look on these as wonderful opportunities for growth. It gives us a chance to work on something, something that's within us that can cause us to do things we don't even know we're doing. Now it's being triggered. Now you go inside and you work on the issue. Where did it originate? Don't get stuck on the present day experience. It's just a trigger. We're coming back to that. But in the moment, you want to look inside and go into there and find out what the real issue is. Then you heal it. And then these present day triggers no longer trigger you at all. And this is how you use relationships to your benefit as wonderful opportunities for growth. Because when you're on your own, you're not going to be triggered that much. But in a relationship, you will be. And the last thing you want to do is blame the other person or react with anger or hurt or guilt or fear or try to deny it or start drinking or taking drugs to ignore it. No, you take it as a wonderful gift. I know it doesn't seem like it in a moment, but it's a gift for you to now know what you need to work on with the tools necessary to go in and get it done, resolve it, heal it, that issue goes away, and those present day experiences no longer trigger you in that way. We're never done. We're not done to the end of our life because we're always going to have something. But the good news is we get better, healthier, happier, more fulfilling, more able to be in the moment as we go through life does get a lot better. It's like you're beginning to see things in a whole new way. You hear things differently. Little things don't bother you as much anymore. Everything will change for the better. And that's what we focus on. Not whether we're done or not, but the fact that everything gets better because you are getting better. And that's what really matters the most. So yes, we're never really done because we always have a lot we can work on, but you're going to find there's less and less over the years because you are getting healthier and happier. This is David Greenwood of Your Life in the Now, where we help you to overcome those old resistive 
condition, ideas, beliefs, and behaviors, and you have the way forward to live that life you were meant to live. See you next time.